With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is asking that the charge required for the reduction of one mole of MnO4 negative to MnO2. So first of all, we have to see how much electron is required for this transition. Uh, basically for reduction, we can say so MnO4 negative is converting to basically MnO2. So from MnO2, we can directly find the oxidation state of this Mn that will be plus uh, 4 means 2 to the 4 oxygen has a minus 4, it will be plus 4. And for that, we have to assume that as a X. So let's suppose X is the oxidation state of this Mn and for oxygen, we have 4 times and for 1 oxygen, it is minus 2 and that will be equals to total charge that contain is minus 1. So here that will be equals to minus 1. So from here, value of X is coming out to be plus 7. So that means it has an oxidation state of plus 7. So simple trick is that change in oxidation state is 3 that means 7 to 4 3 so that means here we have to write okay reduction sorry not in the right side means here we have to write 3 electron so that it will be balanced 3 electron okay 3 electron that is negative charge this is positively charged so 3 will be cancelled so that means plus 4 will be there that is a simple trick now we have to find in the Faraday so remember that one mole of electron in one mole of electron from the Faraday law of electrolysis, one mole of electron contain one Faraday of charge. So here, for one mole of K, uh, MnO4 negative, MnO4 negative, we will have we will require three mole of electron. So in three mole of electron, we will have three Faraday of charge. So if you see the option, then second option is the right option. So I hope you understand this concept. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and neat level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.